good times last weekend. Because you don't buy me gifts anymore. But, baby, I told you my wife is watching the cash register like a hawk, and my walking around money has developed a definite mouth. Well, you promised me a fur coat. I'm not going to speak to you again until I get it. Uh, uh, make that three gross angeladas and uh, two more of the fancy tortillas. <laughs> Who is that you're talking to? Oh, oh one of the suppliers, honey. See, <laughs> uh, Rodriguez, move mucho gracias. He said the tacos gonna be a little late this month. <laughs> Why are you using the phone out there instead of the one in here? I'm a hard line with him, and I didn't want you exposed to any rough language, Rose. Are you talking to some woman? Woman? Now, love, bunny. <laughs> I don't have to stand for talk like that. Well, if I ever catch you messing around, you won't be standing for anything, because I'll take this and lay you both to rest. <laughs> Remember, I hit as often as Sugar Ray Robinson, and as hard as Joe Lewis. <laughs> And she looked like the referee. I'm going to my sister's house. I'll be back home in two hours. I want you to stop at the store and buy a box of washing powder for me. And don't spend another nickel out of your pay. Man, that girlfriend of yours must be out of sight. Yeah, she's the prettiest girl in town. How'd you know? Well, uh, anytime anybody's sitting on dynamite, they got a real good reason for playing with matches. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Yeah, you, you can read between the lines. Oh, not exactly. I overheard you in the phone booth. <laughs> you need a fur coat for that chick? Yeah, I do. Mm, well, maybe I can help you. How's that? You know what? I got a friend who bought a fur coat for his wife and she left him before he brought it home. What kind is it? Mm, you ever heard of a bingo? You mean a bingo like a tiger? Oh no, that's a different social strata. <laughs> they make rugs out of them. Why a bingo wouldn't be caught dead in the same country with a bingo? <laughs> well, I ain't never heard of it. You see that? That shows you how rare it is. You never heard of it, and you've been everywhere. <laughs> sure it ain't rabbits. No, my rabbits. Man, the rabbits, they use them to catch bangles with. <laughs> well, rabbits is bang bait. They only got 4,000 of these furs in this country. What's she look like? Mm, well, it's in the main family. You know, one of them rich cousins. Oh, well, I ain't got that kind of money. Mm, what kind of money? Enough for one of them bingles. Don't be so sure. They too expensive for people to buy. Most people won't buy them. Now that's why they're so cheap. <laughs> How much money you got? Uh, fifty dollars. What's that? I said fifty dollars. Mm, that's funny. I can't hear you. And this friend of mine has got a deaf ear. <laughs> well, you think he could hear the sixty dollars? Mm, man, you ain't even in the ballpark. <laughs> well, 70, and that's as far as I can go. Now nah, you're in the ballpark, but you're way out in center field. <laughs> Listen, that's all the money I got, every penny. Maybe we can talk him into it, huh? No. Please, I'm, I'm desperate. I, I need a fur coat bad. Now, uh, in the usual course of events, we wouldn't stand a chance. But for a brother, it might be possible. You may just say you just have bought yourself a beat. Oh, great. Only one thing. Now, he lives in a rough neighborhood across the park, and it's a chance that we might get stuck up before we find him. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to take your money and hide it under a rock over there. <laughs> what? Have my money? Yeah, in case they come and stick us out. They won't find nothing on us. Now, I'm also going to hide my money. Man, I'm going to hide my money in all of my bank books. Yeah. Yeah, right beside yours. 
so you won't think there's no hanky panky going on. See? Yeah, well, all right. And after we make the deal, we'll come back here with your friend in the coat and pay him off. Mm, that's right. Then we, then we will be saved. Okay. As soon as I close the stand, we're off. Come on. That's the oldest con trick in the world. He had a partner. And the minute you walk off, the other fella got the money. Yeah, I know, man. Minus the money and the coke. Yeah, that's too bad. But I might be able to help you out. How's that? Well, Loretta's got a coat that she's tired of, and I might be able to give it to you. No. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Ha <laughs> ha! There's nothing like a brother that's a brother. <laughs> Look at what it. I got a little present for you. A real bottle of genuine Mexican food chip. <laughs> Speaker dropped it off to me the last time. Supposed to be dynamite, 240 proof or something. Deal, <laughs> baby. Look, tell you what you do. Take that coat mm -hmm. and this note up to apartment 14 in that apartment up there on the corner. Uh, I can't leave there right now, and I don't want her to have to wait. Okay, okay I'll do it. it. Hey, wait a minute. And take this box of wash powder to my wife. Okay, I'll be your delivery boy. Uh, hello, baby. Did you get it? Are you happy? Was that a hint of something sending me all that wash and powder? <laughs> oh, there must be something. Oh, darling, thank you. That's the sweetest, most generous thing you ever did. <laughs> Beautiful. Let me give you a big kiss. I didn't even get angry with that drunken brother of yours. He came in smelling like a volcano and yelling, Beavis the Potter. <laughs> it was just so sweet of you. I don't know how I could ever mistrust you, my love.